All right, and the next set of questions here, it's asking to find the angle one and angle two, or rather the measurements of angle one and measurements of angle two, and also to justify or explain the answer. All right, so number four, we're given an actual angle here of 65 degrees, and then they're looking for angle one and angle two over here. So what we know is corresponding angles basically are equal to each other, right? So 65 is right here, and then angle one, 65 degrees, is corresponding to angle one. So the 65 degree angle here should be also number one, 65 degrees, due to them being corresponding angles. Now, given that this is 65, this is 65, the vertically opposite angle of number two should also be the same. So basically what they're saying is, if you have angles like this, right, we're given this, and we're saying this is 65 degrees, they're asking for this angle and this angle. essentially well this one so we're looking for angle one and angle two all right so this is 65 degrees corresponding angles are the same so that means that this is 65 so this has to be 65 and additionally on that the vertically opposite is also the same. So this would be 65. So we're basically saying that this is going to be 65. This is 65. And so therefore, this is 65 and this is 65. Now, it doesn't ask, but just to keep in mind... When you have an angle like this, one side 65 and X on the opposite side, 65 plus X equals 180, just as an FYI. So that's what they're looking at though. Corresponding angles should be the same and then vertically opposite angles should also be the same. When you have two parallel lines and a line going through. All right, let's look at next one. So here we're given an angle of 85 up here and a 70 down here. Our parallel lines appear to be this line and this line. These are not parallel lines. All right, so in our drawing, what we can do is we kind of mirror this. We have a line here. We have our two parallel lines, and then we have a line here. So we're given this one as a 70 degree angle. We're given this one as an 85 degree angle. And they're asking for this one, and they're asking for this one. All right, so that's what they're asking for. So alternate interior angles are a pair of angles on the inside of each of these two lines but they have a place on the opposite of the transversal right that's what we know so angles one and angle 85 are alternate interior angles so therefore these has to be the same so if you have one on alternate interior angles, they're the same. So we know that angle one already is going to be 85 degrees because of that rule. Now, so angle one 85 equals 85. All right, the same side interior, we're looking at number two now. Same side interior angles are two angles that have a place on the same side 
of the transversal. This is our transversal line. This is parallel line. We're given 70. So they are in between the two lines. The pair of the same side interior angles of 2 and 7, they're supplementary, meaning they're not the same like this one. So what we need to do is we need to look at our angle 2 plus 70 equals 180 because they're supplementary meaning these two equals 180 so again we have a little bit of an algebra here we're just going to swing the 70 across angle 2 equals 180 minus 70 which will give us 110 as our angle 2 so this will be an angle of 110 so now we have our rules in place. So the supplementary of these two will equal to 180. And the interior angles of the transversal are the same. So angle 2 is 110 degrees. Angle 1 is 85 degrees. And you can use the same thing working out these as well.